Hello everybody, it's Nick here, back again with another video. Now, what am I here to discuss today? I'm here to talk about the 1400s on the orange line, and what I think is the biggest problem with them, or what I would say is the biggest fuck-up in design history that I've ever seen. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we start this video off, I first want to say, this video will contain some profanity. Because, quite frankly, the topic that I'm discussing today I feel very strongly about, and, well, I'm using strong language, so if you don't really like ex explicit language or cursing or whatever, then feel free to click off the video, I don't really care. Uh, go watch my Blue Line video instead. And the second thing is, is that this, this, um, this whole video idea came to me after I was watching my Blue Line documentary, after about a week of it being published. What the fuck? Okay, first off, just to point something out here. Uh, no. Look at these two images here. Do you see something wrong here? Well, you probably don't. Well, I'll just show it to you right now. You see the top lights on the top of the train car here? Now look at this train car over here. This is car number 600, and this is 606. Look at the, to look at the lights on the top here. You know, you know something? I can't even believe it myself! <laughs> anyway, what I was saying here was that when I was talking about the transition from the from the blue line 600s to the 700s, I talked about the various design changes that they made to the new 700s. Particularly, I talked about everything that had been changed about that car. Particularly, all the things all the things about that car has, has been radically changed, including propulsion system, elect, electrical wiring, the actual like components of it, the interior, the exterior, everything had been changed about it. And, and that's all fine and dandy and everything. However, they did something special that I would say hasn't been replicated um, on the orange line, basically. Now, I don't exactly know where this quote comes from, but I'm going to quote from what I think this quote came from. I think this quote came from the iPhone 5 keynote when Apple introduced that back in 2012. Now, during that keynote, they either said it during a video that they premiered or like an actual, or they actually said it on stage. They said, This OS reflects an important history. It's familiar, but it's also entirely new in every detail. Now, taking that quote and looking and applying it to this, you can see where this quote kind of lines up. It's different, yet it's familiar. And I think that's what the MBTA or Siemens was going for in this case. They changed the design, yet they kept it the same to give people that sense of familiarity so that when they saw a new train car rolling down the line, they're like, whoa, what, am I on the right line? Where's my train, huh? Where is it? They kept the design similar. And, and like I said, this, I think, I think, I think they kept this design similar for that particular reason, because people who have been riding these things for however many years, if something suddenly changes, it's going to take them a while to adapt. And obviously, when something major happens and something changes, there's obviously going to be some backlash. However, if you keep the design somewhat similar, the backlash might not be as, as major, I guess. How, and that's kind of what they did with the transition from from the 600s to the 700s. They actually changed the design, but they didn't keep it that different. They kept it very similar. However, this does not go for the orange line, because, quite frankly, the direction they went in with the, four, with the 1400s was in the complete wrong fucking direction. Now, what I mean here is by that they went in the complete wrong fucking direction for, these, for the design of these new train cars is just... And what I mean by that is just everything they th these they fucked up real bad with these cars quite frankly and right here i have a picture side by side on the left are the 12s right are the 14s now obviously looking at it initially you can see there is a there is a very noticeable difference between the two and the one big the biggest difference that i would say is the most prominent out of any other that this train car features is the body shape. 
As you can see, we have this nice oval with the hump centered in the center. And then we have this fucking abomination with the hump lower than the 12s. Now, this design choice pisses me off to no degree. I cannot even express how much this pisses me off. Because they took everything from an absolutely amazing design and just threw it out the fucking window. I don't know who the fuck was in charge when they were designing these train cars, but they deserve to get slapped oh. harder than Chris Rock. Because quite frankly, the, this, train car, this train car design is fucking ugly, and it deserves to be held in the Hall of Fame for the most fucking ugly abominations this world has ever seen. Now, what makes me so upset about this is not only just the design aspect, but the one thing that just makes me incredibly pissed off even more is that they didn't do this with the 1900s on the red line. Now, right here, I have every single red line car that has been introduced within the past, like, 60 years. Now, right here on the top, on the top here, we have the 1400s, which were introduced in the 1960s. Next, we have the 15, 16, and 1700 series that were introduced in the 1960s as well. Next, we have the 1800s, which were introduced in the 1990s, and then most recently, the 1900s, which were introduced in 2019. Now, just looking at this, just as it is, you can tell that the actual overall train car design of the red line has barely changed. It still has that boxy car design with a little bit of a curve towards the end. They didn't change the body design that much within the past 50 years, which quite frankly makes it so that people are still familiar with the red line. If I looked at any of these cars with a different set of, with a different type of paint scheme or anything like that, I would still be able to identify like, oh, that car is from the red line. And quite frankly, I feel like this is the direction that design needs to go for public transportation. If you just suddenly change something, people are going to be like, what the fuck is this? Now, the one thing I would say I would love um, the most about the red line is the consistency in train car design. If you look across the past 60 years of train car design on the red line, they all look very similar. They all look very similar, and for good reason. Consistency and familiarity is the best. However, the one thing that I just don't understand at all is that for some fucking reason, CRRC decided to keep the 1900s with the similar design to that of the 1800s, but they did not do the same thing for the orange line. They, they completely changed the design of the 1400s in the most horrible way possible. They took everything great about the current, the current 12 series fleet and just completely threw it out the fucking window. And I cannot even express how much I hate it. I hate the new 1400s on the orange line. I fucking hate them. And quite frankly, I've purposefully been avoiding them just because of how much I fucking hate them. I hate riding in them. I hate the way they look. I hate the way they sound. I hate everything about them. Now, some of you might be saying, okay, but you'll grow into them. Quite frankly, I don't think I fucking will. Because the 12s, they're my fucking childhood. I love them. And if if some fucking company is going to come and try and take them away from me and try to change the design to something more radical and new, then over my fucking dead body. Because quite frankly, what CRRC has done with the new 1400s is a fucking abomination. And quite frankly, they should have done better with the design. They Whoever looked at it and approved it deserves to get slapped, because quite frankly, why did they think of this design in the first place? It's fucking ugly! And yes, I know this is all my own personal opinion, but quite frankly, I feel like it's a valid opinion. I feel like many people, or at least some of the people who I've talked to, kind of express this similar opinion, that the new design of the 1400s on the orange line is not quite as pleasing as the 12 series design because of this radical change that they made to the exterior body design. Because they made the center hump lower, people immediately, or the people who have told me, said they don't really like that change that they made. And quite frankly, I agree. It looks fucking ugly. However, that being said, we can't change, we can't change it. How, 
designs the design is stuck it's here to stay ain't nothing we can do about it so it's too bad however that does not mean that we can't learn from this for the future how, how and however many years when they're going to replace this stupid fucking fleet when it eventually kills itself we're going to have to oh god i am just <sighs> it's late at night i want to go to bed so yeah i'm uh, i'm pretty burnt out here if you guys like if you guys like what you saw go ahead and like comment subscribe check out my blue line video link in the description check out my merch and uh yeah good night